Net luisterde u naar het eerste deel uit de sonate voor fluit en bassencontinue van Pietro Puli. Gespeeld door leden van het ensemble La Cicala. En fluitiste en artistiek leidster is Ines Davena en die komt nu hier zitten. Spreekt heel goed Nederlands, want ze woont al 14 jaar in wow. Nederland. Maar, Een beetje. But we're going to talk in English. Perfect. Oké. Okay. Wonderful. Music from your new CD. Yes. Dolce oh. Napoli. Our first CD. Well, I was I was a little bit shocked when I read that Naples was the capital of the musical world in the 18th century. Right. Well, that's what they tell us. Uh, Charles, de they? <laughs> Charles de Charles mm -hmm. um, who was a, a famous person in France at that time, uh, traveled to Naples. And uh, having been in Paris and having been in other cities, Rome and Venice, he says when he arrives there in his letters back home, this is the true capital of music. So the, the, the music in Naples at that moment was so special and, and there was so much music that, um, yeah, he felt that was actually the capital of music. Okay. And did you get an insight of what it was about, this musical life? Or? Right, well, there, there were four theaters in the city at that moment, active mm -hmm. with opera, so there were uh, operas going on at the same time in different theaters. There were 500 churches and all of them had at least one organ. And that means that if you have an organ, you usually have a little musical chapel with a few violins, quite a few singers, um, and uh, yeah, a, a musical life. So there were lots of musicians, and not b by chance, there were also four conservatories, as we understand them, so real conservatories that the students learned uh, music yeah. as an education okay. for, for a professional life. Mm -hmm. And the recorder? Does he have a special role in that time, or...? This is what I tried to find out, mm -hmm. and um, we, we don't have a lot of documentation in that from that time, but what we do have is a lot of music. Um, and if you ask a lot, if you compare, for instance, with uh, the, the music, instrumental music written for the recorder in Venice, it's more or less at the same level, Naples and Venice. So we think of Vivaldi and, oh yeah, so much music, but actually there's a lot in Naples. The difference is that in Venice, um, most of the music composed there was published already at the time. So it reached Amsterdam and London and uh, everywhere. And the music uh, from Naples is, is mostly kept in manuscripts. So this is why it's still unknown for us. And this is why it's harder to get uh, hold of this music. Yeah, and what was the reason for that, that they kept it in? In manuscript, yes. I think it's a more, it's a different uh, uh, concept of music making. It's a more local, closed market, um, a lot to do with the aristocracy, and it's it's not um, um, meant for the outside world. It's meant for the court, for the houses, for the palaces, for the churches, mm -hmm. and it, I don't think it had yet the connotation that it had in London and in, in Amsterdam, especially, of uh, publishing to make money. Okay. And yeah. lots of them were opera composers. Lots huh? of them were mm -hmm. opera composers, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you can hear this also in the music. Yeah. This this vocal quality, and it's actually what attracts me the most to the recorder parts of this of this uh, repertoire is this this vocal, this singing character. You brought some wonderful, beautiful recorders, but they are quite special. Huh? These are replicas. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are he replicas that did not exist until this one did not exist until. 2011. Well, it did. The original existed, of course, but this is the first copy. Um, this one was copied in 2013, and this one was finished two weeks ago. Um, so it's quite recent. And this is part of an ongoing project um, of mine. And when I started digging deeper, uh, deeper into this, this uh, repertoire, I, I wanted to know more about the instruments. I think we think a lot about the music, but we forget that we need instruments to play this music. And what were those instruments? So, yeah, I, I went to museums and uh, looked at a lot of catalogs and visited those places, measured the instruments together with a recorder maker, of course, because I'm not a maker. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, this is the result. New, new old instruments. Show us the, 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 the character, the, 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 of the sound, of the, how, um, how different is the... How different they are? Yeah. Well, this is much close, um, much more um, a deeper sound, a more dark sound. And it also doesn't project a lot. This is much more um, vocal, I think. This is <laughs> lower, but... Da 
different. And this is the instrument that I've had for many, many years. It's a Dena instrument, it's a German instrument. And it likes this high register. And then you, you, you use them for special um, Pieces. compositions? Yes, I do. I tried to match, and this is, was also the experiment of the CD that goes really fluctuates with the pitch of the instrument, mm -hmm. so it's not one constant pitch throughout the, the CD. Um, I tried to match the character of the pieces with the sound of the, of the instruments. Um, and I think this is something and that we should do. Based on what? This is based on, on my feeling. Okay. Completely that's based good. on my feeling. Yes. And, and how, how it feels, and how the instrument responds to the music also. Mm -hmm. It's not just what I feel, but sometimes I try to do something and the instrument says, uh uh, no, you're going too far. So, yeah, I'm also limited by the instruments. And this, this is a frustration in a way, but it's also wonderful because it forces you to explore things that you did not imagine. Okay. You're going to play another piece from your CD. Right. Uh, concerto by Nicola Fiorenza. Also from Naples? Also from Naples. Also an opera composer. Uh, no. No? Okay. No. He was a violin player and uh -huh. a virtuoso and very rough person. He hit his students and got fired for that <laughs> from the conservatory. <laughs> So, yeah. I'm very curious. All right. Thank you. Thanks. I ask you to go on stage. And we're going to go on stage. Ensemble La Chicala. 